let's um, on to energy related issue, which is transport, a growing area of emissions across Australia, um, which seems crazy at a time when we know that the solutions are increasingly available. Um, I'm going to throw this to Simon first. What is the opportunity here for, for electric vehicles in Victoria and for clean transport, public transport, other transport solutions? And, and why aren't we seeing a response on this more rapidly? Uh, it feels like it's been just sort of the poor cousin of the energy debate for a long time. Mm. Yes, and transport is the next biggest sector after electricity. Uh, so it's, it is nationally, I assume it's close to that at the state level. So it is the next bit of low-hanging fruit. A lot of the moves to decarbonise transport end up um, making our cities more livable. So focus on more public transport and then of the cars that remain, making them quieter and cleaner, making our cities more accessible by bicycle and on foot. All of these go to better quality of life as we are addressing the climate challenge. So we have electrified significant amounts of transport. There's a lot more to be done in the passenger vehicle fleet. Australia is very much behind on electric vehicle adoption. You know, countries, I think China last year was 5% of new vehicles sold there were electric. It was, I think, 075 in, in Australia. We are way behind. Most Victorians who have a car want their next car to be electric. I think there's a real role for government to shift the incentives to make it easier to go electric. So we can start reducing those emissions in that sector now. We need this transition to go very quickly because they're long-lived assets. We need a massive, you know, massive step change uh, in transport in all jurisdictions, absolutely. Look, we have set ourselves uh, an ambitious target now uh, in terms of, you know, half of all new sales by 2030 need to be um, CDVs. There's a whole range of things that we need to incentivise. I mean, it makes sense that, let's say you up the effort on whether it's government fleet or private fleet because of the turnover of, of vehicles uh, is a very short period of time and you then stimulate the rest of the market. Slightly more than 50% of all vehicles in Australia go to fleets. We are a nation of car fleet, your company cars, government, um, commercial. And for most Australians, their car will be an ex-fleet purchase. So we need to get these vehicles into fleets. So it's a brilliant move to encourage fleets to transition as quickly as possible to EVs. That not only will bring more models into Australia, will bring the cost down, but it will make them accessible for more Victorians. 